before King Von got killed back in 2020, him and Lil Durk were facing a wild attempted murder case that almost put them away forever. And today we're breaking down the entire story. King Von and Lil Durk came up in Chicago and was homies for years. But Von waited a long time before he followed Durk into the rap game. He spent his whole life in the streets and only decided to focus on music after beating the murder case in 2017. When Dirk saw that Vaughn was ready to switch it up and go hard in the booth, he signed him to his Only The Family label and Vaughn took off from the jump. His tracks Beat That Body and War With Us both ran up numbers, but the song Crazy Story is what really put him on the map. The track blew up and has almost 200 million streams on Spotify alone, and it made everyone in the industry start tapping in with Vaughn. He followed that up with Crazy Story 2.0 with Lil Durk in May 2019 and was popping off even more. Durk was already one of the hottest rappers in the game, but it took him a long time to reach the top. Von definitely got a boost just from being affiliated with him, but it was still shocking how fast he was blowing up. Fans knew they could take over the game together, but they almost lost everything right at the start. A month after Crazy Story 2.0 dropped, news broke that Von and Durk were wrapped up in an attempted murder case where they shot and robbed a dude in Atlanta. According to reports, Dirk and Vaughn were outside a cigar lounge in February 2019 around 5 in the morning when they got into an argument with a dude named Alexander Witherspoon. It's still not clear what exactly went down, but at some point shots started going off and Witherspoon caught a bullet in the leg. A witness said, When I hear gunshots, it's a whole nother sound, so I don't hear voices, I hear bullets. I just seen bodies fall. The police say 18 shots were fired, and a detective claimed, You see Mr. Banks' arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Dirk and Vaughn allegedly knew Witherspoon and pressed him for a chain and 30K in cash he had in his pockets. He said his chain was snatched off his neck and he had $30,000 stolen from him and they stole the vehicle he was driving. But they both denied the charges immediately. Dirk was on tour when the news broke, but instead of pulling a take K and doing the race, he flew right to Atlanta and turned himself in. He had an interview with Channel 2 Action News before the cops arrested him. And Dirk said, Once I heard, I immediately came back because I have nothing to hide. Like, I have nothing to run from. He also dropped a track on the same day called Turn Myself In and aired off the situation. He said, Look up at the judge, can't look. State making up lies for sure. I'm an innocent man for sure. It is what it is for sure. Nobody gonna ride. Had a warrant so I can't hide. India gonna stay by my side. I did a song with Chance tonight. He gave me positive vibes to better my image for life. I turned myself in tonight. Head down with these cuffs on, just read me my rights. Besides the attempted murder charge, Vaughn and Dirk were also facing aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. If they got convicted, there was a good chance of them getting a heavy sentence. All of the charges were serious, and what made the situation worse was that they both already had prior cases. Back in 2011, Dirk got booked on a weapon charge and served a few months in jail. Then in 2013, he got arrested again when he allegedly tossed a gun in his whip when a cop came up to him. That charge ended up getting dropped after his lawyer found nine witnesses to sign affidavits, and one of them even admitted that the strap was actually his and not Dirk's. Vaughn's list of charges was way crazier than Dirk's though. He caught a gun charge in 2012, then in 2014 he was booked for first degree murder over the death of a college student named Malcolm Stuckey. Vaughn and his homie Big Mike allegedly rolled up on some ops at a party that Stuckey was at and got into a shootout. The ops started shooting first, but Vaughn and Mike shot back and hit him. Everyone who was shooting survived, but Stuckey got caught in the middle and tragically died. Big Mike flipped and agreed to testify, which would have put Vaughn away for life. But right before the trial, Mike decided to stay quiet and ended up with a 28 year sentence while Vaughn was set free. Dirk and Vaughn only spent a few weeks in jail on the attempted murder case before they bonded out for 250k and 300k. They both got right back in the booth, and later that year, Vaughn dropped his debut mixtape with a couple features from Dirk. While they still had the case hanging over their heads, both of them were blowing up more than ever. The year after they got booked, Dirk popped off with tracks like Three Headed Goat and Laugh Now Cry Later with Drake, while Vaughn was taking over with his debut mixtape and album. With all the momentum behind him in the industry, most fans forgot about the attempted murder charge they were facing. Dirk and Vaughn were on top of the game and getting bigger with every track they dropped. But right when it seemed like Vaughn was finally about to focus on rap full time, he started a fight with NBA Youngboy's homie Quando Rondo and ended up getting killed in Atlanta. After Vaughn died, Dirk kept grinding and dedicated his album The Voice to him. He kept it up over the next couple of years working with superstars like Kanye West, Drake, and Lil Baby. But at the same time, he was still facing years in prison. Attempted murder isn't as likely to get you a life sentence like a murder charge would. But in this case, Dirk would have been locked away for life. After the shooting went down, the cops claimed it was a gang-related crime. So Dirk was facing an extra 20 years on top of the attempted murder charges. Back in 2021, Dirk tweeted out, 
police be on these fake accounts, then boom, you locked up. Fans were worried that Dirk was about to get booked again or had some bad news about the attempted murder situation. But nothing ever happened, so it's not clear what he was really talking about. Dirk and his fans spent years not knowing how the situation was going to turn out. But in October 2022, they finally got some good news. The Fulton County DA's office announced they were dropping the case against him and said, The facts of this case have been reviewed and, although it appears that probable cause existed for the defendant's arrest, the decision of the district attorney at this time is not to prosecute. Nobody knows exactly how much evidence they really had against him but apparently it wasn't strong enough for them to take it to trial. But even though Dirk is free and safe from the charges, if Vaughn was still alive, he'd probably be in jail right now. The DA said Vaughn would still be investigated for the shooting if he didn't die, and he was also being investigated for at least three murders back in Chicago. Vaughn caught a gun charge in 2012, but now the cops think he killed a dude from STL EBT named Odell that same year. His homie T-Roy was the main suspect for a long time, but a leaked report says that now the police think Vaughn was a shooter. He was allegedly involved with a bunch of other shootings, and some think Vaughn had killed up to 10 people before he died. FBG Duck was murdered just a couple of months before Vaughn died, and in January, a report came out where an FBI witness claimed Vaughn put a 100k hit on his head. Five dudes from O-Block ended up getting arrested for killing Duck in broad daylight, and according to the witness, Vaughn is the one who sent them there. When Duck died, Vaughn hopped on Twitter and claimed that they had squashed the beef right before he was killed, but Duck's own mom says it was all cap. She also says that Vaughn and T-Roy allegedly took out another dude named Boss Trail. Vaughn allegedly killed Trail, him and T-Roy. Only the streets know and only the people who did it know, so that's why I'm saying allegedly. But it's not clear if he was ever actually investigated for it. Duck was one of O-Block's biggest ops, and it looked like Vaughn was just trolling with the tweet. And Lil Durk basically confirmed the beef wasn't over when he dropped the track shit of Duck and said, You come outside without your gun? Lil boy, you dumb as fuck. Ain't no quick run to the stove. They pop out, fire you up. I told my PO through the gate that I get high as fuck. She asked me how high do I get? I told her high as duck. There's a lot of unconfirmed rumors that Lil Durk was involved with taking out Duck too. Right now, it's too early to say how the Rico against Oblock will go. But if Durk was involved at all, there's a good chance he'll get hit with charges over it. You never know who'll stay quiet and who will work with the cops to get a deal. And anything can happen in a case like this when you have five dudes facing murder charges. Some people think Dirk actually snitched on Vaughn after he died to get out of the attempted murder charge. There's no proof to back it up, but it's rumored he told him Vaughn was a shooter after he died so he wouldn't go down for it. Even though Dirk is clear of the 2019 case now, he could still face some time if they tie him to Duck's murder. There's a lot of rappers being targeted by the police in Rico cases, and they've been after O-Block for a minute. If the cops had anything real solid against Dirk, he'd probably already be in jail. But they could be stacking up evidence and waiting for the right moment. Young Thug and his YSL crew were under investigation for years before they were actually indicted, so you never know when they might be coming.